Welcome to another Ask Dr. Lisa edition of Health and Heals. This is my chance to address some of the great questions you have that I receive from social media. Remember, if you're experiencing anything serious though, you should go see your doctor as soon as you can. So with that in mind, let's go to the questions. They're really exciting. Okay, the Facebook fan from Algeria, all the way from Algeria asks, I'm hoping to get pregnant and I would like to have a boy. Is there anything I can do? Well, really you have a 50-50 chance pretty much all the time. There are some myths out there um, which which are associated with have an association with an increased prevalence of having a boy afterwards. But the thing is, if you have a 50, 50 chance and then you try something and you get the outcome that you want, you usually attribute that thing to helping you when really it probably wasn't a factor at all. So in that vein, there have been some studies to show that there is an increased association with women who um, intake more calories and have the eat uh, a heavier breakfast or cereals and also who have a potassium rich diet. So like a diet with a lot of bananas and things like that. So again, there has been an association. Doesn't mean that there's anything that's causing it or proving that you will have a boy or a girl with this, but they've just in studies, they've shown that there's been more boys with women who have higher calorie diets and also potassium rich diets. Okay. So again, that's an association. There's probably not much you're going to be able to do to really change that. Now, there's also been things where people have said, well, what if I change the P the vaginal environment or the vaginal pH um, with douching, with different sort of douches to make either it more alkaline, which would tend to form a boy. Usually the, the Y chromosome is a little bit more fragile, so we try and have a better environment for a boy. That's why they think maybe women who have more calories because they're more healthy, that they'll have a boy. Um, also that alkaline environment, but is, if you've ever heard me say it, do not douche, do not douche, do not douche because it really wrecks the environment and actually it can cause, um, it may actually inhibit the sperm from being able to get through. So you might be doing that. Also, there's some association with should you have intercourse closer to ovulation to have a boy and the reason being that if you have it closer to ovulation, then that fragile Y um, sperm will be able to, to get the get the right egg, be, be right there when the woman's ovulating. Again, if you actually wait too long to have intercourse because the sperm can live for five days, then you might actually be decreasing um, uh, how effective getting pregnant is. You may not be able to, to get pregnant. You only have a 20% chance in each cycle. So you don't want to try to get a boy and then also not be able to get pregnant by using that. And then some people will um, attribute different positions to having a boy baby. Um, the rear entry more effective with uh, with the not rear, you still have to go in the vagina, not the, the rear, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but rear entry with boys. And, and again, this is just wives' tales. These are things that aren't going to hurt you, except for the douching, which might, and, and the ovulation, which might not help you as well. So as far as the diet and those type of things, if they're not going to hurt you, that's a good thing to try. But again, remember, there's no proof that they actually will give you a boy, but they might increase your chances. All right, I hope that answers your question for that. So thanks for checking out my Ask Dr. Lisa edition of Health and Heals. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you'll stay up to date with all of my videos. Thanks for watching Health and Heals. And until next time, this is Dr. Lisa reminding you to be well and be fabulous.